Hi everybody, thanks for joining us. I'm Nate, and in this lesson, I'm going to show you how to recreate a very popular effect that was used in a recent show of the week on our blog. In the featured show, the photographer was able to create ghost-like effects by adjusting the opacity of video layers in Pro Show Producer. Effects like these are actually very easy to make. All you need is just a little bit of planning and some basic gear. Regardless of the camera you use, there are four very important things that you need to keep in mind when shooting your video clips. First, you'll need to shoot two video clips for each effect. In one clip, all you'll want to capture is just the background. In the second clip, you'll want to shoot both the background and your subject. Next, a tripod is a must. For this effect to look its best, both clips should be framed the same way and shot using identical settings. Third, make sure that both video clips are the same length. Try to get the length as close as you can in camera first, then use ProShow to fine tune the clips later. Finally, always try to capture scenes with as little background movement as possible. If that's not an option, do your best to make sure that any background movement looks or feels more abstract. Clouds, moving water, or even busy city streets should work nicely. Before we create the effect, let's see how the video will look once we're done. What we have are two video layers playing at the same time. One acts like a background, while the other uses keyframes to alter layer opacity. The effect feels seamless because both videos were shot using identical settings and a tripod. So, let's create this effect from scratch. First, import the two clips into ProShow. Be sure to hold down the control key as you drag and drop the videos so that you create a single slide with two layers. Depending on how large your clips are, this may take a few moments. Notice that the slide time will automatically change to the length of the longer of the two videos. Next, double click on the slide to open the slide options window. In the layers list, be sure to change the order of the layers so that the background only clip is in the layer 2 position. In this example, my clips aren't exactly the same length, so I'm going to use the video trimmer to even them up. If you're not sure how long your clips are, you can quickly find that information displayed right here in the Video Clip Settings pane. With Layer 2 selected, let's click the Trim button to open the Video Trimmer. Because there's nothing special going on in this background video, all I need to do is shorten the clip a little. The easiest way to do that is simply type in some values. I want the clip to be 15 seconds. So in the start frame box, I'll type in 1. In the end frame, I'll type in 16 and then press OK. Notice that the length shows 24 seconds as the original time and the trim length as 15 seconds. Now select layer 1, then open the video trimmer. I need to make this clip 15 seconds as well. So this time, I'll trim a little off the beginning and a little off the end. Then press OK. Now because we changed the length of the videos, we'll also want to change the slide time to match the new trimmed video length. A quick way to do that is to click the Sync Time button. Next, let's add the keyframes and opacity changes. With Layer 1 selected, click on the Effects tab, located just above the preview. We want this layer to not be visible when the show starts, so let's select keyframe 1 and in the adjustments pane, change the opacity to 0%. Now select keyframe 2 and drag it over to the left until you see a place in the preview that looks like a good spot for your ghost image to appear fully visible. I'm going to aim for around 3 seconds. Now over in the adjustments pane, make sure the opacity is set to 100%. And let's scrub through the preview to see what happens. As you can see, the video begins with a ghost-like image walking into frame and becoming fully visible at around 3 seconds. You'll also notice that after 3 seconds, the video suddenly disappears. That's because we still have all this time left in our slide. Right now, the top layer is only visible for a small part of the slide time. To continue with the ghost effect, we'll need to add more keyframes. 
So in the keyframe timeline, right click and select insert. This will create keyframe three. So once it's created, drag it in around the nine second mark. We want the video to stay fully visible during this part of our slide. So that means we want the opacity of keyframe three to also be 100%. As we scrub through the preview again, the video begins with a ghost-like image and at three seconds, I'm fully visible. And I stay that way until nine seconds. Just like we saw earlier, the video quickly disappears because we still have more time on our slide to fill. Once again, I'll right click on the keyframe timeline and I'm gonna select insert to create keyframe four. This time, I'm gonna drag it to around the 12 second mark. And this is where we wanna have layer one become ghost-like again. So to do that, set the opacity for keyframe four to 0%. Even though the video is now completely transparent again, it's a good idea to add one more keyframe just to avoid that sudden disappearing we saw earlier. So click on the keyframe timeline one more time and select insert and create keyframe five. This time just drag it all the way to the right and make sure the opacity is set to 0%. And once you've done that, let's take a look at the final effect. To recap our opacity settings, for keyframe one, the opacity was set to zero. For keyframe two, the opacity is 100%. For keyframe three, the opacity is also 100%. For keyframe four and five, we have it at zero. And that's it for today's lesson. Be sure to check out our other training videos on our YouTube channel or visit our blog for helpful tips and tricks about creating slideshows with ProShow.